Hey folks, how are you doing? So as you see, I'm actually still in working clothes, so don't mind the dirt. Still might be working. I'm gonna show you a couple things. First thing, what I did today was I finished finally, went back and refinished, redid the friction folder that I started off with Jeff. So this was a Jeff's uh, old blade from his first toad friction folders. First, first, very long time ago. ABL and I fitted it with a nice new handle and I, f I really like how it looks, just nice. It's very compact little friction folder, like pretty much legal everywhere. It has only like two inch blade. I don't even know exactly when I will be listing and measuring everything. I'll put it up there. But just nice thin, good cutter, not too high grind, but it's almost, it's pretty much zero grind. There's, the bevel there is just so microscopic, it's almost non-existent. Cuts really crazy. And it has that blue and orange silver twill with orange liners and it has a lighting strike carbon fiber backspacer. Just a nice little friction folder, did a little kind of like a screwdriver Jeff did this on, many people actually did this on their friction folders. Just a little screwdriver finger pry bar on the tank. Just nice little, you know, friction folder. And it has uh, fossil bronze washers, this one. So this, was go, this is gonna go to the gear bastion tonight. And I want to show you. So I finished my Waki. I redid the handle, re wrapped the new paracord. And for me, I do like that sports grip tape on it. On the knives that I use a lot, you know, heavy. It's just nice. And uh, I'm, I don't really. It actually looks cool, I think, the black. And uh, the sheet, as you saw from the little knife making tip, it's a takedown sheet from four pieces. Just nice, super, you know, nice and loose inside. But good, good retention on it. And the knife I just cleaned up yesterday again. I even thinned out the, the primary even more. And uh, it has that beautiful horizontal grind lines. And you see that I already was cutting with it. I want to show you something. So, first off, now the knife is really sharp. Wack is ashy. It's windy here. It is razor sharp. So all crunchy, but let's have some fun with some, you know, real stuff, not just paper. So these are actually I had couple couple coconuts that are just rotten inside. I'll show you one that I already cut. Uh, it's still in that outer layer, so we have plenty of those fibrous thing on the outside. But the inside you have uh, not so thick, not like a store thick. Uh, shell and then you see inside the rotten coconut this bear this been in uh, somebody's garden forever but let's just see I cut off the bottom so it just stands here it's a nice one clean cut it actually smells horrible <laughs> and uh, this is what I call a Floridian paper cut test <laughs> It's <laughs> just funny, like shaves of the palm leaves perfectly. This is what I would actually consider kind of very similar to bamboo. Those stem, uh, stems, or I don't know what you call it, the sticks from what the palm leaves grows on. They are very fibrous and resilient. It reminds me, the structure inside, especially when it's dry, reminds me of bamboo, except it's not, it's not hollow inside. But it just reminds me, and uh, it does show the cutting geometry nicely and uh, also the motion of the knife when you're talking this type of knife. Because when you don't do it right, or if the knife isn't right, it will kind of like skid in and it just does, doesn't clean, cut it very cleanly. You see, like now I didn't do it right and it just kind of bounces off and try to, tries to go with the grain. It behaves, I think, very similar to a bamboo. I'll just do a couple of these coconuts real quick because <laughs> I just think they are funny. Haha, <laughs> that one's stuck on. Let's do one more so we don't do it too long. Yep, that just about did it. I love this thing, it feels really nice. And like I like expect, uh, suspected yesterday, that one hand thing was just, I was really crazy tired. I had no power, no grip in my hand whatsoever yesterday. Now, I can really safely, you know, I feel as good in the hand. It was just that. 
factor of being tired. So I actually gotta wash up because I'm all from uh, covered in the rat and coconut <laughs> and dirt. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out that friction folder and gearbox if you're interested. And uh, I really like this. Kylie designed it nicely. I'm happy with how I did the handle and just overall look. I just really, really like it. It's just one. Of, it's gonna be one of those fun blades that you know it's gonna be functional just like my knife Chetty. But it's just a little bit more fun when you can put those two hands on the handle and just really go crazy just for the fun. It's not like it's not like it's something really practical, but it's just the fun part about it. And uh, I better make myself some chopping horse soon because I want to do some chopping videos more often just test the blades and all that fun stuff. So guys hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe and remember don't cut yourself.